let me tell you a very very interesting story what happened there was a big big palace in india and this big palace obviously had an emperor so there was a person who had brought a game with him and that game was chess and the emperor was very amazed to, to see that new game now he was so amazed with this game that was chess that he offered a reward to the man now what the man asked was really uh, surprising he asked for some grains of rice some grains of rice only yes he said that one grain of rice should be placed on the first square of this chess board then two grains of rice on the next four grains on the third eight grains on the fourth and so on till the 64th square well can you see there is a pattern he is following here what is he doing he is doubling the number of grains of rice in each square one year then 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 and so on so you can tell me what will be the next number it will be 16 then next 32 and so on and then the grains started increasing the number of grains of the rice started increasing now the emperor he was very happy with the modest demand of this man and so he agreed see the grains of rice started increasing but what happened next was astonishing the emperor saw that by the time 17th square was reached the whole table was filled up really see the number of grains are increasing and by the time 26th square was reached the whole room was filled up and when 42 squares were accounted for the whole palace was filled with rice in fact the reward would add up to an astronomical sum far greater than all the rice that could be produced in many many centuries interesting the story was really interesting you saw that the inventor of chess he followed a pattern i told you about the pattern it was 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 and so on so you can at least tell me some terms after it and this will go on increasing till how many squares according to the man till 64 squares but this the series we have got here has a special name this series is known as gp series what is gp well gp means geometric progression a geometric progression or you can say a geometric sequence is a sequence such that any element after the first that is after the first number here the first number was 1 now any element after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding element by a constant in our case what was the constant we were multiplying each number by 2 we were doubling them so multiplying the preceding element by a constant called the common ratio now this common ratio is denoted by r so in this case what do you see this is a series of numbers here the common ratio was what 2 and this will be denoted with the small letter r now in any gp series the first term or the first element of this gp series will be denoted by a so the first term of this gp series is 1 so we will say that a is equal to 1 that is the first element of this gp series and what is r r is the common ratio by the number which when multiplied to the preceding element we get the next element take any two numbers here 4 and 8 when you multiply 4 with 2 you get 8 so this 2 is constant here so we can say that a is 1 and common ratio is So this is what we call a GP series. Now, do you recall what is an AP series? 
An arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. Does it sound same like GP series? What is the difference between both of them? Well, in AP series, say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Well, you can say that these are multiples of 2, or you can say this is a series where the difference between two consecutive terms is what? It is 2. But what are we doing here? Are we multiplying 2 over here? No, we are adding 2 over here. So when you subtract 2 from 4, you get what? 2. Or if you add 2 with 2, you get 4. So the difference between two consecutive terms is 2. And what about GP? We multiply the constant with each term to get the next one. So this is the difference between AP and GP. Look at it. Can you tell me whether this is an AP series or not? What is the common difference here? Remember, the first term here is called A. And the first term here, that is in GP series, it is also called A. Here, the common difference, we call it as D. And here, the common difference is not so. We have a common ratio, which is known as R. Right? Can you tell me some terms of this AP series? You can see that the common difference here is what? 3. You can see this is constant. So let us write some terms after it. It will come to 13, 16, 19, 22, 25. And let us write some more, 28, 31, and so on. Right? Complete this series also. Well, you cannot complete it, but you can write some terms. Here, the common ratio is what? 2. That means we have to multiply each term by 2 to get the next one. So 1 into 2, 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. Then 8 into 2, 16. 16 into 2, 32. 32 into 2, 64. Then 128. 256. 512. And so on. Well, just look at these numbers. This AP series, it is increasing, but with a very small margin. And this GP, the numbers are increasing very, very fast. Why? Because here we are just adding numbers, but here we are multiplying them. So this is the trick what the uh, inventor of chess used to fool the king or the emperor. Now, can you identify GP series from these three series? Tell me which one of them is the GP series here? Well, let's look at them one by one. Let us look at the first one. What is the first element of this series? That is A is 11. Now you know, to be a GP series, there must be a common ratio, which should be constant. So what do you think is the common ratio here, if this is a GP series? Well, 11 into what should give us 11? Into 1. Then again, 11 into 1, 11 into 1, 11 into 1, and so on. So you can see that, yes, we are multiplying here a number with a constant. And this constant is actually the same everywhere. So we get that the common ratio is 1. Right? So here, what do we see? We see that there is actually a term or an element, or you can say a number, which when multiplied, to a preceding element gives us the next element, right? So this is what is GP. So yes, 11, 11, 11, 11 is also a GP series. Let's look at the second example. 11, 22, 33, 44. You can say multiples of 11. Well, they are quite big numbers. Do they follow a GP series? Or do they fall in a GP series? Can you tell me? Again, tell me the first element of this series, 11. What about the common ratio? Tell me about the common ratio. Well, 11 into 2 gives me 22. 22 into something, will it give me 33? No. Well, I can say that 11 into 3 gives me 33. And 11 
into 4 gives me 44. Or if I change the way we look at it, I can say that it is 11 plus 11, 22, plus 11, 33, 33 plus 11, 44. So this is actually not a GP series, but an AP series. So do not get confused with an AP series and a GP series. Always try to find out the common ratio if it is a GP series. Here you can see that we are not getting any common ratio, but we are getting a common difference. So if you get a common difference, then it is an AP series. But here, here you are not getting any common ratio. So this is not a GP series. Now we had another example. Let's look at that. The third one, 11, 121, 1331 and so on. Again, the first term, 11. Do we have any common ratio here? Check and tell me. 11 into 11 gives me 121. Now 121 into 11 gives me 1331. So again, you see, you get a common ratio here, which is constant. So here the common ratio is there. So this is a GP series. So from all these three choices, this one and this one, these two are GP series, whereas this was an AP series.